Syrian opposition activists say rebels have shot down a warplane in the northwest of the country, where government forces and their allies are advancing under the cover of intense airstrikes. The UK-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights says the plane came down on Saturday afternoon near the rebel-held town of Sarakeb, which Syrian troops have been trying to reach under the cover of Russian airstrikes. The head of the observatory, Rami Abjuraman, said the plane could be Russian. Its pilot ejected and landed on the ground alive, he added. The opposition's Aleppo media center said it was a Russian-made Su-25 but did not say whether it was flown by Russian forces. There was no immediate word from Moscow about the incident. The observatory earlier reported more than 35 airstrikes on Sarakeb since late Friday and said that many residents were fleeing the area. The IBA news agency of the Levant Liberation Committee which is linked to al-Qaeda, said Russian and Syrian warplanes and helicopter gunships had been pounding Sarakeb and Telmardik village in Idlib province since the early hours of Saturday. Syrian government forces and their allies pushed into Idlib, an opposition stronghold, inching closer to a key highway that connects Syria's two largest cities, Damascus and Aleppo. The UN said more than 270,000 people had been displaced in Idlib since mid-December as a result of the government's offensive. Since you're here, we have a small favor to ask. More people are reading The Guardian than ever but advertising revenues across the media are falling fast. And unlike many news organizations, we haven't put up a paywall. We want to keep our journalism as open as we can. So you can see why we need to ask for your help. The Guardian's independent. Investigative journalism takes a lot of time, money and hard work to produce. But we do it because we believe our perspective matters, because it might well be your perspective, too. I appreciate there not being a paywall. It is more democratic for the media to be available for all and not a commodity to be purchased by a few. I'm happy to make a contribution so others with less means still have access to information. Thomasini FR If everyone who reads our reporting, who likes it, helps fund it, our future would be much more secure.